All right, I'm going to try a different camera setup. I've got this camera way over there and uh, on the other side of this table that I have my clay on. I think what I'm going to do is just use my clay, it's thick enough, to uh, put between the feathers and uh, anchor them together. Um, really late at night. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend here because I've had an ache behind this eye. Well, this eye here, my right eye. Since this morning when I got up and about two hours ago it uh, finally went away. And uh, I don't know what that was about. Maybe my eyes are just tired from all this. But uh, anyway, I just uh, wasn't feeling too good so I spent the day at home just closing my eyes and trying to rest my eyes. I think I'm okay now. I'm going to uh, start by taking the toothpick out and then pulling the feather apart and then putting a little roll of clay down between the feather, the feathers, and then pressing this feather on top of that feather. And hopefully that will seal the two feathers together and uh, <clears throat> I just get to get the right tool to to do this with, and uh, blend in the feathers. There we go. I think that's going to work. I'm using clay because I'm going to paint the feathers to look like clay anyway. to hold well enough. Yeah, it's about eight o'clock at night. <laughs> I've got a lot to do in this thing before I take it to the uh, gallery on Wednesday, so I'm going to try to get as much done before I do that. Alright. Uh, I know I've told this to a lot of you that have been watching my videos for a long time. I took a, a sample of the clay to a local paint store and had them match the color of the uh, paint so that I could paint wood or wax, whatever I felt I needed to, and have it look like clay. And so that's what I'm doing right now, just basically painting the wax to look like clay. That's just to make it less confusing to people who are going to be looking at it in galleries or at shows or even photographs. 
the key is to sell your work. And if you can sell it before you cast it, then it's a boon. So what I'm doing right now is I'm painting the clay. I mean the wax to look like clay. And this will take a couple of coats. It's just house paint and it's matte finish. I don't want anything glossy because the uh, clay is not glossy. So it's a flat finish and it works just fine. It doesn't matter if you paint it because it all comes out in the finished product anyway as a bronze. And it doesn't matter whether it's painted or not. Alright, I have uh, the headdress completely painted now, both inside and out, and I have the, he the headband, or the front beaded band, placed in where it's going to go, and I will take care of that tomorrow, but uh, I think I might work a little bit more on it tonight, I don't know, but uh, you can see how it looks with the... Uh, Feathers all painted now. You can see the dang things, and they're not hidden by the uh, dark uh, background. If I can just turn this thing with my ruler, <laughs> but uh, didn't take much to paint it. But it sure, and even the uh, the division between the dark area of the uh, feather and the lighter area of the feather has come out, so that works out fine. All right, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I'll uh, start putting the fluff at the bottom of the feather, uh, right where the uh, quill meets the uh, wrap. And I'm not going to put a lot of uh, fluff on it, but just enough to tie the feathers together permanently. But I think it looks pretty good. I hope it does. I'm going to be in big trouble if it isn't. Uh, when I get uh, the uh, side feathers that are hanging off of his uh, rosette that will be on either side of the uh, beaded band uh, blowing in the wind. And, and There's something else that I need to fix too. If you look down there, I've got the wind blowing this way and on the headdress it's going that way. So I've got to change that when I get this back up on sculpting stand where I can actually work on it and change all that. All right, good night everybody and I'll see you tomorrow.